<coughs> so, so this is the Pegas EcoTap, which is uh, a counter pressure bottle filler available from a Russian manufacturer. It's the bottom end of their products, but it basically enables you to fill plastic PET bottles uh, direct from your Cornelius kegs under pressure so that there's no foaming and so you can bottle bright. And the key features are this piece which locks the bottle onto the silicon seal underneath here. This is the um, two function tap which enables you to fill by tipping it up and to purge the gas bottles by, tip by rotating 90 degrees and tipping it up that way. This is the pressure release valve which enables you to release the carbon dioxide pressure which will release the flow of beer into your bottle. Uh, these are the bottles that we're going to use. Uh, these are Cooper's Homebrew 500ml PET PET bottles available from Tesco's at the moment at about £9.50 for 24 and in my experience they're pretty good. Uh, they fit that device perfectly and they're at a reasonable price and this is a really good way of bottling your home brew without uh, using bottle conditioning and also if you want to ship it out and ship it to competitions etc then it's much less likely to break although a lot of homebrew competitions still don't accept pet bottles so now we're going to show just the um, just flushing through the Pegas tap from a keg of sanitising fluid it's got cleaning fluid in it at the moment which is pink and I'm just going to flush it through with some paracetic acid just to make sure it's absolutely clear before we run any beer through it so it's just really a matter of lifting this valve up and you'll see the pink and then the PPA the paracetic acid coming through so it's, just, it's just really flushing the lines and making sure it's all clean and sanitised in there OK, so that all that's pretty much ready to go, so I'm going to change the change the um, tap and we'll change the fitting now onto the beer line. So let's just pop off the Cornelius disconnect and now up onto the up onto the beer line up here. Into the outpost. And I'm going to turn the gas on. So what you want is the, right, the same pressure on the keg as the back of the tap. So if you come around to the back of the tap you can see there's a, a gas line coming in and I've just put uh, an isolator valve there and there's obviously the beer line that's going to the keg there. So I'll turn that valve on and now we can start to fill up the bottle. So we've still got some sanitizer fluid in the beer line so I'm just going to get that out by venting the tank a little bit and that's it I've got beer coming out there now and I'm just going to again sanitize that a bit of star sand and now we Tip the bottle, you'll see there's a lip there which locates on the lip of the clamp. So you start with the pressure release valve closed and you then purge the gas bottle by turning this 90 degrees and opening it and you'll hear the gas fill the bottle. Close it, vent it. That's purging the bottle from, ox from the air and allowing CO2 in. And now we pressurise it again, close it, turn it 90 degrees, and now we're going to fill with beer. So we now open the beer line, and uh, you'll get a dribble through, but not a lot because it's 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 under pressure. So it, what you need to do is release the pressure here. 
and you'll see beer. The beer is being is putting the bottle around the outside, so it's got a special orifice which means that the beer coats the inside of the bottle, which means there's less gassing. And as you can see, there's only a little bit of foam coming up there, and it's really pretty, pretty stable and not foaming very much at all. And you wait till it gets to the your optimal fill line, and then you shut the pressure off here. Close down the beer tap. I just tend to open it again to uh, open the CO2, the gas in it, just to let a bit more fluid in. And now we're venting the pressure. We're going to release the clamp and then cap it quickly. And we're capping on the foam. That means there's no oxygen in there at all. Nice and tight. And when you when you cap it, you'll you'll feel there's some flex in the bottle, and you might be worried that it's not really filling it under pressure. But if you give the bottle a quick shake, the CO2 will come out of solution, and you'll feel it is quite rigid now, because and that shows you that it's definitely under pressure. And that bottle is bright; you can move it around; it will remain clear and bright. And that's a lovely bottle of homebrew that you can then just take to your homebrew club, drink or uh, enjoy otherwise. Thanks for watching.